What we do know is the guy that stopped by yesterday caused quite a conversation. A little bit, yeah. yeah. A little bit. Now? Very usual. Not like that. The, um, <laughs> yeah. So Aaron Rodgers Tuesday season four is uh, done. Yeah. Ah, complete. Man. Good season. There's going to be a lot of people that are happy with that. Myself included, to be honest. With the way it ended, it got real loud. Mm -hmm. And uh, real loud. I'm happy that that is not going to be my mentions going forward, mm -hmm. which is great news. Here you got another one of these weak fuckers. Took money from Disney so he could work on ESPN. And now he has to make sure that he never speaks to Aaron Rodgers ever again, because Aaron Rodgers is bringing up inconvenient facts about the safest, most efficacious vaccine known to man, the one that these dumb fuckers are on their 18th shot of, and they are still catching COVID. That's weird how that works. You took 20 shots of an experimental injection, and you still test yourself every day for sniffles, and then you catch it and spread it. Boy, that's weird. It's almost like we should continue talking about that, considering you medical Nazis tried to force us into this. Just a few years ago. And you're still trying to do it today. If you're in California, the other shit, old Democrat run idiot places. But anyway, Aaron Rodgers is bringing up that inconvenient fact. And he's bringing up inconvenient facts about Hollywood kid fuckers. These people who are unfunny sons of bitches, yet they are constantly tapped to host the Oscars. People who lose 50 plus percent of their audience on their late night comedy show but are still hired to do the Oscars or the Golden Globes or all this other nonsense. That's weird. It's almost like that's a compromised individual who can't sell tickets based on their comedic skills, but yet they are still failing upwards. I wonder why that is. It couldn't possibly be because they're kid fuckers, boys, or protecting kid fuckers. Allegedly, of course, don't sue me, Jimmy Kimmel, you weak bitch. So Aaron Rodgers brings this up over here on the, the, the McAfee, McAfee show. And now he has been kicked off. Now he has been excommunicated because, hey, surprise, you know who owns ESPN? Disney. And Disney owns Jimmy Kimmel. So here you have the studio and the corporation that went out of its way to protect Epstein. Epstein was found out years before you had a woman on one of these dipshit news channels. She had the story. And she was told not to do the story. Years, years. We could, have, we could have saved thousands of women, allegedly, of course. No one gets sued by Epstein's estate. For trafficking, or from trafficking. But she wasn't allowed to run the story because the kid fuckers at ABC and Disney said, no, 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 don't talk about this. But that's fine. That's totally fine. These people who love Epstein so much, they don't want you hearing from Aaron Rodgers. This is Colin Rogue, Justin. Aaron Rodgers is now suspended from appearing on ESPN's The Pat McAfee Show for the rest of the season after his beef with comedian Jimmy Kimmel. Rodgers pissed off a lot of people. Good. Yes. Yeah. This was getting... Who the fuck has ever seen an ESPN clip? What, what, what have you ever seen one? It, it's been 20 years since anybody gave a shit about ESPN. And now you're seeing ESPN all over the place because Aaron Rodgers and Pat McAfee over here were getting a lot of attention. And so they're like, oh, my God, we don't want attention. <laughs> we, we are a media company, and we're trying to get people to consume this shitty media over here. But we don't want people talking about promoting or sharing that we've got a show, so let's shut it down. They didn't do that on accident. They did that on purpose. Aaron Rodgers is spilling too much tea. He's giving out too much information that's accurate, I imagine. And in a world that is running off of propaganda, you can't have that. And so now the only thing worth watching on ESPN is, cel by the way, the dude's celebrating that Aaron Rodgers won't be on the show anymore. This fucking weak bitch, Pat McAfee over here is like, well, go I'm glad. What we do know is the guy that stopped by yesterday caused quite a conversation. That's your life's blood. A dude starting conversation on other platforms to alert people that there is this platform is your life's blood. <laughs> He won't be back anymore. He won't be back anymore. You're celebrating that, you fucking asshole. That's what it looks like to take Disney money. So there you go. Yeah, let's let's not talk about experimental injections being forced onto people. Let's not talk about rampant kid fuckers. Let's, let's not talk about any of that. No, 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 no. Let's just move on. Everything's fine. And all of these left-wing goofballs are all celebrating this. Go, but Aaron Rodgers should just shut up and throw a football. Where's that energy when it comes to LeBron James? LeBron James is go. Oh my God! Racism. 
I can't believe racism would kill that poor black kid that grabbed that cop's gun and tried to kill the cop. I can't believe the cop fired back him. That's actually racism, everybody. No, that's not racism. That's fucking stupid. Stop telling black people to grab cops' guns. That's fucking stupid. No, it's systemic racism. They're, they're black people. No, they're not. Shut up and fucking dribble. That was racist, right? That was racist to say that. Fucking idiots complaining about morons fighting cops over traffic stops, you fucking morons. You tell that idiot to shut up and dribble. All of these people said that's racist. Now all those people are saying, well, Aaron Rodgers should shut up. Aaron Rodgers has different politics than me, so he should shut up. Aaron Rodgers is talking about something that's actually happening. This outlet protected a kid fucker. This outlet forced experimental injections on everybody in that fucking studio. Those are things that actually happen. Those are things that are actually fucking killing people. But they don't want to talk about it because the Democrats... Democrats and Republicans, these, uh, the establishment doesn't want people to hear about it. So there you have it. Who needs enemies when you got friends like Pat McAfee over here going in there, bending the knee and sucking the mouse dick so people uh, can, uh, you know, get, they're like, look at this Aaron Rodgers constantly complaining that he's being blacklisted in silence. Oh, there you go. There you go. There you go. It's still happening. It's still happening, you fucking morons. They're all upset that uh, Aaron Rodgers didn't die. Aaron Rodgers defied the NFL and defied the corporate overlords to take experimental fucking concoctions for a peak physical specimen like Aaron Rodgers over here. And they're all upset that he didn't die. Yeah, they're all upset because they took 15 of these fucking shots and they're way concerned. You should be concerned, you morons. For climate change. Thanks so much for watching the video. Support the channel. If you really kept up to date on assholes silencing Aaron Rodgers over here, hit that subscribe button and make way because the salt must flow.